Welcome to our online devotion together. It's Thursday, April 2nd, and this is day 16 of our temporary pause of on-campus activities in response to the coronavirus pandemic. As we all follow Governor Ducey's order to stay at home, to stay healthy, and to stay connected with one another, I'd like to read for you a psalm that is very appropriate when you do go out to the grocery store, to your pharmacy, to a health appointment, for those of you that work in an essential service, and whenever you are just around other people that you don't know, and maybe not are keeping that proper social distance. And it's the words of Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Jesus is our good shepherd who's with us every time that we are out in public, regardless of whether the particular place we are at has someone with coronavirus or not, regardless if someone's maintaining our social distance or not. Even if we happen to go to the grocery store when it's crowded, the Lord is your shepherd. I want you to listen to some words that I'll read for you again. Verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. Let's all follow those precautions when we're out in public. If you go to a grocery store where there's tape lines on the floor, stand behind them. Use hand sanitizer. Use a sanitized shopping cart. Wash your hands frequently. Do all those things that we are supposed to do in public that's good hygiene for you and for our neighbor. But don't do one thing, and that is be afraid, because God, our Lord, is with you. Let's close in prayer. Almighty God, protect us when we are out of our houses in public as we follow the precautions that we know we should for ourselves and for our neighbor. Assure us that you are with us and your protection is with us as well. Let us not move in fear. With caution, yes, but with absolute knowledge that you are with us and will protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this Sunday at Epiphany, we can have private communion by appointments every 15 minutes between 9 and noon. I have read the governor's order in detail, and there is an exception for events just like that. I invite you, if you would like to receive Holy Communion on Sunday between 9 and noon, to email me at pastormark at epiphanychandler.org. I ask you to do two things. First of all, make sure you are well and haven't been exposed to the coronavirus. And two, please follow the precautions that I ask you to do when you come to receive it. And now may the Lord bless you and be with you in public this day. Amen.